All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about the FNFAL and can you make it modern? Now, first off, I have to start by saying that growing up and just in general, I've always really enjoyed the FNFAL. I don't really know what it is about it, the kind of aesthetics to it. The, of course, hard hitting 762 was attractive as well, but I always wanted an FNFAL, but my, my kind of desire for it kind of, uh, faded away when I saw that, unfortunately, even though it was a modern fighting rifle platform, there were other fighting rifle platforms that got more attention, got more modernized, and the FAL kind of just always stayed the way it was. And not to say that the FAL was ever a horrible platform, certainly far better than something like a muzzle-loading musket or something along those lines, but it never really got the um, attention and the love that it really needed. It never really made the transition to the 21st century. That is, of course, until DS Arm with their SA-58 OSW, I've been talking about quite a bit, came along. And so today we're going to go over how I modernized my FAL and just kind of go over this one in general. Now, like I said, I initially started off with a base uh, DS Arms SA-58 OSW. And the OSW is a shorter barreled variant. Now this one does have a pin and welded flash hider, so it is technically 16 inches, but it is a shorter barrel variant. And of course, it features a number of other modernizations. Of course, like I said, the shorter barrel does make this long, heavy gun a little bit more manageable and maneuverable. But the biggest thing that the OSW brought to this package was two things. One, of course, it has an AR-15 styled um, buffer tube butt stock on here that allows you to put collapsible stocks as we'll get into. And then of course, most importantly, you have a flat top pick rail, and of course you have a full quad rail in the front. So, if, if, so essentially this has about as much rail space and as much customizability as something like an M4A1. So still not quite um, full, you know, modernized to the levels of something like a, you know, modern AR with M-Lock, but it is getting there. And I do actually think they make M-Lock variants of this rail for the uh, SA-58. So this one is pick rail. I did intentionally want pick rail because it's a little bit easier out of box to get pick rail accessories. All right, so this isn't quite my full build. We'll actually go over my full build in the future and go over everything that is to come with this rifle. But for the most part, this is actually how I want to have my FAL set up. And so this is pretty close to it. And also I think this is a really good showcase of once again, talking about can an FAL be modernized. Okay, so let's go over it. So once again, starting at the back and the rear here, we have an Magpul STR stock. Now, when I first bought this, it came with a BCM gunfighter stock. I'm just not a huge fan of the BCM gunfighter stock. And more importantly, I've always loved these STR stocks because maybe it's just nostalgia. Once again, they're very similar to some of the SOT mod and kind of original M4A1s. But what I like about them, particularly with guns like this, where you have to do more of a cheek weld, is that the STR, as you notice, is a very thick boy. And what that allows you to do is get a very good either cheek well or chin well it just gives you a lot of real estate when you actually level that stock to your cheek slash chin it gives you like I said, a lot of real estate and a lot of ground there and that is something that is very helpful in my opinion now in addition to this too we'll just talk about it now because the sling is also kind of back here we have an ms4 sling and of course that is the multi-mission sling from um magpul it just allows it to be either a two point sling like you see it now in this configuration or a single point sling depending on the need in the application. Now moving up we have for now a um, Vortex Spark AR on here but this is going to change like I said but it is a good showcase that you know you can modernize it. Now another thing that I've done I don't necessarily consider this a modernization but kind of a standardization is I have a 30 round magazine in here and 30 rounds is a little bit more than typical with an FNFAL. Typically like most 308 battle rifles they have 20 round magazines. The 30 rounds gives it that little bit extra more capacity and I feel like because this is such a portable package having that extra you know little bit length um, or a little bit longer magazine 
honestly isn't a huge deal. Now, moving up to the quad rail. Now, these definitely give this gun that kind of M4A1 aesthetic. These are Magpul XT rail covers, but I wanted these on here because if you spend any time with quad rails, you'll quickly find out that quad rails are kind of sharp and uh, they tend to just rip everything up. You know, whether it's your hands, whether it's your environment around you, they just rip. So I put XT um, rail covers kind of all around in the particularly high touch spots. And uh, particularly what I like about it is when you go for that kind of modernized C, C clamp grip with the rifle, like such, you can notice that I have some nice XT padding here. It adds a bit of extra rubberization and a little bit of extra comfort and still allows for a good C clamp. And so once again, I also have a um, pick rail for rip on this guy from Magpul. And I like Magpul's size. It's just about perfect. I know a lot of this is Magpul. No, I'm not endorsed by them. I just think that a lot of their stuff works well for me in particular. So once again, very good for a kind of shortened or modified C-clamp. And I can still get a really good extension with this rifle, as you guys can see there. Now, of course, we also have a flashlight up here with a flashlight mount. This is just a through night. I'm trying to remember which one. I think it even says on here. I'm just blanking on the name of it but this is just a through night flashlight and i have a red filter on it currently four red times so or four i should say night times so this will likely change the light will likely change to something else um, but for now this is what i have on here it's a thousand lumens of red light so it's not too shabby and i do like that so outside of that of course we do have the flash hider on here and that pretty much wraps it up. Now this is about a 13 inch technical 308 barrel. So it's not too, you know, like long. And overall, I think that this guy is pretty darn compact. Now, once again, this does have a collapsible stock, so you can make it shorter, you can make it longer. The other nice thing about this is that you can um, fold the stock in because of course this is a piston gun. So you don't actually need that buffer tube for any functional reason. So you can even make this guy a little bit more compact packed by um, you know folding that stock in of course everything and of course everything still works as intended so that is the overall build once again I probably run it more like this more often but it is a pretty cool build I think for me like I said I wanted to see if I could really modernize an FNFAL and I think I came out overall pretty good now the one thing I do want to change to this as a little bit of a spoiler for those people who are gonna stick with the channel and such, is I am working on putting a micro prism uh, on this guy. So a micro prism is once again a prism optic. It's a fixed power optic. And so a lot of people may be like, why, why try to go lightweight? But this gun is already um, over nine pounds. So if I can shed some weight with a prism optic that's smaller and lighter than something like an ACOG, then that would be very much appreciated. So that is my primary thought process for going with something like a, um, so it is something that is an advantage to go with um, the primary arms micro prism three times. So that is what's gonna be replacing this optic here. I just can have this as a placeholder, but that will be replacing that guy. And then in my opinion, this will be a pretty modernized um, FAL. And honestly, I really don't see a lot of modernized, honest to God, like newer looking or newer featured FALs running around. So I'm kind of excited to build this guy out, you know, make it what I want it to be. And not only am I excited because I've once again always liked FALs, I think they're really cool guns, but uh, from the perspective of you know, no one else out there really doing this. I think it'll be pretty cool to have an overall package that is super capable, super competent, and a little bit on the heavy side, but still pretty damn venerable. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you can see that, you know, with the right type of rail setup and such, you can make a pretty modernized um, FNFAL. And yeah, it's totally a possibility. They are, like I said, the biggest downside and truthfully the biggest sound downside to any 308 kind of fighting rifle. And this is just something that you can't realistically escape, whether you're running Springfield's M1A, whether you're running, once again, a DS Arms SA-58, whether you're running a SCAR um, Heavy or SCAR H or SCAR 17, whatever you'd like to call it, um, regardless to what you know main 308 battle rifle you're running, weight is something that you will never be able to get away from because 
two things, you know, once again, a lot of these guns were built heavier. And two, you know, even if you get a lightweight AR-10 setup, you know, the 308 ammunition itself is not lightweight at all. And to an extent, you almost don't even want these to be super lightweight, like six pounds, just because 308 is a much harder recoiling round. So it's going to be, you know, a lot, uh, a lot more to manage per se. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you enjoyed looking at this gun. I thought it was a pretty cool setup and how it turned out overall. Once again, I have a few more things coming for this gun to kind of just round it out and make it truly what I wanted, but we're going to make a video once the build is actually complete. But I thought I would show it off now, kind of show you guys what it looks like. And like I said, the fact that you can actually make one of these a modern fighting rifle. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.